people are not willing to listen for a long time in the schools and uh, in the institutions, wherever they are, even five to ten minutes. It's an amazing fact, but I am coming through all this in my career, and I'm wondering why they are not interested. But they get among the many are getting first rank, second rank, and oh great, they are uh, too good in studies, but they get some kind of distractions. They are attracted to everyone, whoever is beside them. They want to know what's going on this side, this side. Just for a minute or a couple of minutes, they listen. And then they want to know what's going on this side and that side. This is really truth about the people. If we talk concisely, they listen to us, whoever they are. Now, we are going to see alternative words for concise. Concise means talking something important using few words. The first one is succinct. For an example, I have no patience to listen to you. I am exhausted. I believe your words, so say in succinct. In succinct means in short. And the next one is short. For an example, for an example I'm saying, why well, nobody's listening to you? You better say in short. I like this word in short. It's a beautiful word in English. And the next one is summary. For an example, he has thousands of books and is curious to read many books at a time. So he reads only summaries. Summary means in short. And the next one is brief. For an example, most of the students are not capable of listening for a long time so it's good to speak in brief in brief means in short and the next one is boil down for an example she wanted more and more details but i had no time so i boiled down all the points and sent her a message. Boil down means in short. It's a praise verb. And the next one is compact. For an example, school students are not capable of uh, uh, carrying loads of books with them. So they like compact books and dictionaries. Compact means short. Keep listening to these new words. I'll say it louder.